anybody that looks at Whitney Houston could fall in love with her. No doubt, there were a lot of people who were dying to be with Whitney Houston. And from everything Kevin Costner has said about her, could he be one of the people who was madly in love with her? Did he really mean what he said when he said that Whitney was his one true love? And what is it about Whitney that Kevin found so magnetic? You weren't just pretty. You were as beautiful as a woman could be. And people didn't just like you, Whitney. They loved you. Well, obviously, Whitney was a beautiful woman with the most amazing voice, and she also had a heart of gold. So I can understand why anyone would fall madly in love with her, including Kevin Costner. And honestly, if there's one person who has talked a lot, and I mean a lot about Whitney since she died, it has got to be Kevin. So their relationship goes back to 1992, when Whitney and Kevin starred opposite each other in the year's biggest romantic drama, The Bodyguard. And while the movie was a huge box office success, something else made headlines about it, the connection between Whitney and Kevin. Apparently, Kevin wanted the most beautiful woman in the world for the bodyguard, and the only person he could think of was Whitney. However, it was actually a struggle to get Whitney to do the role because one, she was black, and you know, Hollywood and racism, and two, she was not an experienced actress. I was reminded that this would be her first acting role. We could also think about another singer, was a suggestion. Maybe somebody white. Nobody ever said it out loud, but it was a fair question. It was. There would be a lot riding on this. Maybe a more experienced actress was the way to go. It was clear. I really had to think about this. Let's just say that regardless of how much people tried to discourage Kevin, and even though Whitney herself had doubts about whether she could do the role or not, to Kevin, Whitney was perfect. A lot of leading men could have played my part. A lot of guys, a lot of guys could have filled that role. But you, Whitney, I truly believe that you were the only one that could have played Rachel Marin at that time. In fact, Kevin waited for a whole year while Whitney was on tour, and the people in the production found that a bit crazy, considering Whitney had no acting experience. For her part, Whitney said that Kevin reached out to her personally regarding the role of Rachel Marin and was determined to have her star opposite him. According to Whitney, Kevin even told her that if she didn't do the movie with him, there would be no movie. He said, if you don't do this movie, I won't do this movie. Kevin is also the one who said that Whitney should sing I Will Always Love You, and he wanted her to do it acapella at the beginning because he felt that their emotion in the movie would be undeniable. True to his word, it was simply magical. And because of the bond they formed together on set, Whitney knew that she had made a friend for life and maybe even an admirer. I mean, there were moments when Kevin and I would be off into a corner somewhere, you know, going over our script. We'd take our days off and we'd go through our scripts together, you know, our scenes together. Kevin's the kind of person, you know, we became such good friends during this movie. You know, um, I, I know that I made a friend in Hollywood for life. Sadly, Whitney passed away in 2012, and Kevin was one of the people who gave a tribute at Whitney's funeral. And the pain in his voice was pretty evident. In fact, if you ask me, he delivered a eulogy as if he was a widower in grief. So off you go, Whitney. Off you go. Escorted by an army of angels to your heavenly father. And when you sing before him, don't you worry. You'll be good enough. At the time of Whitney Houston's passing in February of 2012, Kevin had also released a statement saying she was his one true love. He actually released the statement seemingly blaming himself for Whitney's death, where he said, I let her down. I should have been there and I wasn't. And now for the rest of my life, I will have to live with that pain. I saved her then, I should have saved her now. She was my one true love. I still have I will always love you as my ringtone. And I count it as a badge of honor every time I get mocked for it. 
Kevin. So Kevin did actually say that Whitney was his one true love, and that apparently was not surprising to the people who worked with them on The Bodyguard because they always saw how he looked at Whitney. A source even told Radar Online that Kevin couldn't keep his eyes off her, but at the time, Whitney was set to wed Bobby Brown and shut down her romance with Kevin when the film wrapped. Kevin was also married at the time, but his marriage was already pretty rocky, which is probably why he openly said that Whitney was his one true love. And he hasn't stopped speaking so highly of Whitney since. For instance, while appearing on CNN, Kevin opened up to Anderson Cooper about the letters he used to write to Whitney in hopes that they would help her get the help she needed with battling her addictions. And so when someone says, would you write someone a letter who you know is having trouble? And I, so I did. Kevin also later reflected on the letters that he wrote to Whitney during a sit down with E.T. But he did say that he wasn't sure whether those letters were ever read. However, he still spoke very highly of Whitney, regardless of what she was going through in the months leading up to her death. The world saw us having a very special relationship. I mean, I've had a lot of people explain it to me that way. Mm -hmm. During an interview with Ellen, two years after Whitney passed away, Kevin also opened up about the exact moment he heard about Whitney's death, which was when his son was having a birthday party. And he said that Whitney will forever be special, not just to him, but to the entire world. In 2018, when Kevin was asked what he thought made the bodyguard special, his answer was, you know it, Whitney Houston. She was so beautiful and I thought, well, this is, this is the girl for me, uh, and you know, I, 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 yeah. Well, you know, not everyone thought that. It turned out, I, uh, but I did. And when and when we were done, it was a, it was a really important moment in her life and her career. And and will always be locked together that way. At the Screen Actors Guild Awards in 2022, Kevin once again remembered the bond he had with Whitney, saying that when movies are working at their very best, there are moments and images that they'll never forget. And for The Bodyguard, it was when Whitney sang, I Will Always Love You. Kevin said, I don't think we'll ever forget when that little song came out that she just blew up. She sang the first part of it a cappella, and musically, the world was never the same. In September 2022, Kevin again took to Instagram to announce that The Bodyguard would be playing on the big screen to commemorate its 30th anniversary year. And once again, he praised Whitney saying, I couldn't be more excited that we'll all get to re-experience this film and the magic that happened when Whitney stepped in front of the camera. I hope you'll join us in celebrating this movie and her legacy. Honestly, judging by everything that Kevin has said about Whitney over the years, we can tell that he was deeply infatuated, but apparently there was also something else that stood in the way of them ever having a relationship. Whitney preferred black men, allegedly. Plus, it has been said a couple of times that the people around Whitney told her that dating a white man would have been a kiss of death to her career. So she just stuck to the black men, allegedly. Who knows? Yeah, I know. There's a clear double standard, if that's true, when it comes to black women dating white men. But do you think there's a universe where Whitney and Kevin probably meet and actually date? Has it ever crossed your mind that they actually would have made a great couple? I don't know about you, but I can see that Kevin Kevin loved Whitney unconditionally. But let me know what you think of that relationship that never was in the comments section below.